Hello Tuckies, this is Niga Lena Betty, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. For this video, I will teach you how to remote control your Android device. I came across this solution when I was looking for a viewfinder for my Android phone. The rear camera of a phone has the best quality and I like to find ways to take full advantage of it. Apps you will need. TeamViewer is an app used to help provide remote technical support to mobile devices and PCs. One of the cool features is that you can remote control an Android device. You will want to install TeamViewer Quick Support app on the device that will act as a puppet. For this example, we will be using my Note 9. Because I am using a Samsung device, I will also need to install the add-on Samsung app. This provides a special permission so that device can be remote controlled. Without this add-on, it will not work. If you have another branded Android device, make sure that you install that one that corresponds. Next, you will need to install the TeamViewer remote control app on the device that will act as a puppeteer. In this example, I will be using my Apple iPad Air 2. You cannot remote control an Apple device with TeamViewer. You could only view the screen that has the TeamViewer Quick Support app installed. You could control an Android device with another Android device or even an Apple device. Setting up the connection. Alright techies, so I wanted to let you know how to set this up. Here we have an Android device and then here's an iPad that I have. This is using the TeamViewer Quick Support and this one is just using the regular TeamViewer app. Now I want to let you know that if you try to connect to this app without the TeamViewer Quick Support being open, it's not going to work, which is awesome because that is good. So for example, I'll show you guys here. If I'm out of the app, even if I have it open in the background, if I try to remote in, it's going to say that it's unable to connect. So you actually need to have um, this open. Here we go. So now I'm going to hit remote in. It's going to ask me, I'm going to hit allow, and then here I am. Now, everything that you do on this will happen over here, which is awesome. What I like to use this a lot for is to use it, to use the camera, okay? So we're just going to go to the camera app over here. So everything that the camera sees, you can see it over here, which is great. Now if you're using it here, like portrait mode, this is perfect. But a lot of the times people are going to be recording and they're going to have it angled like this. You see where there's a problem? So all you need to do is just uh, move your tablet this way. And I'll show you guys something really cool. So. Everything that you do here is going to focus here on this camera. So, for example, let's say I'm looking at this little cat woman, right? And I want to focus in. Bam, it'll focus in. If I click here, then it'll focus in. If I want to move to other types of mode, I can do that. selfie mode hey selfie mode and so what I'm gonna demonstrate you guys is if you wanted it to use the rear camera you know if you wanted it to use the rear camera to videotape yourself and that way you don't have to use the I know some people use a mirror. I'll have favorite reviews uses a mirror. This is just another way of doing it without having to use um, like a really big setup 
you can kind of close in a little bit and then you can actually control it. You don't have to get up and move and go from one side to the next. So I'll show you guys that example next. My setup. Hello techies. This is Miguelina Betty, AKA Catwoman from Tech Valor. So here I am breaking the fourth production wall again, and I'm gonna show you guys how I have this set up. So here I have my phone, and right here I have a wide angle lens because when I record it punches in, and that way I don't have to be so far away. Then I have the iPad right here, looking at what I'm doing and I'm you know, controlling everything. If I need to up the brightness or anything like that, I can do that. And then I'm connected here. With my little lapel, lapel. So this would be a setup that you would want to have done so that you don't have to use another apparatus where you would have to then get up and move and see what you're doing. And you can take full advantage of the rear camera that you have with your Android phone. Conclusion. Here's another tip. You can use this method if you are using an Android camera on top of a rig. That way you can make sure that the camera is in focus. I hope this method helps you with your setup and inspires you to think outside of the box. If you have any questions or come across any roadblocks, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you. If you found this beneficial, please give this video a like and also share it with others who might need this. Subscribe to Tech Valor for more tips like this in the future and I'll see you techies on the next one.